Hi, I'm Jackie Stapleton and welcome to Atoll TV. In this video, I'm going to cover clause 512, Customer Focus. I'm going to break this clause down and turn it into something you can all understand. You'll then be able to apply this to your own organization system and understand what the requirements will look like for you. No more guessing. Keep on watching as I can show you just how easy this is. Before we break this clause down, it would be beneficial to remind you all who top management is again. The official definition for top management is the person or group of people who directs and controls an organization at the highest level. I always say that top management are the decision makers. Depending on the structure and size of the business, top management could be the owners, shareholders, board of directors, general manager, or even a project manager if the scope of the system is down to a project level only. Now that we are clear with who top management are again, let's get stuck into this clause. This clause gets straight to the point by stating, top management shall demonstrate leadership and commitment with respect to customer focus by ensuring that A, customer and applicable statutory and regulatory requirements are determined, understood, and consistently met. This first point is all about understanding and meeting customer needs. And I'd like to note that this is about top management understanding and meeting customer needs. Top management isn't just responsible for identifying what these needs are, they also need to ensure they are consistently met. You would have identified the applicable statutory and regulatory requirements back in clause 4.1 and even 4.2, as well as 8.1. This is about top management being on top of this and ensuring these are consistently met. This could be done through management review, clause 9.3, where any new requirements, changes in requirements, non-conformances, customer feedback are reviewed. Top management should then be part of the decision-making process regarding the actions to take. Then the next statement in this clause is B, the risks and opportunities that can affect conformity of products and services and the ability to enhance customer satisfaction are determined and addressed. This is crucial for maintaining the quality of products and services, and it is not just about solving problems as they arise, but preventing them from happening in the first place. This could look like top management conducting regular reviews of their supply chain to identify potential risks, as well as looking for opportunities for sourcing different products or services for their own customer delivery. These actions are again all a part of clause 4.1, context of the organization, where it is required to determine the external and internal issues influencing the business. As long as top management is a part of that process, then this requirement is also being met. And let's not forget that in clause 9.3 management review, there is an input requirement to consider changes in these external and internal issues. And of course, top management will be part of the management review, won't they? Then finally, this clause states C, the focus on enhancing customer satisfaction is maintained. This emphasizes the ongoing commitment to enhancing customer satisfaction. This is the heart of customer focus, not just meeting needs, but actively seeking ways to exceed expectations. I wrote a newsletter on this recently where I spoke about my own experiences with unexpected customer services. I'll share this with you here as well then. Recently, I engaged the services of a website designer, Jess, who after our first Zoom call provided the quote. I approved it and then paid the deposit for her to get started. 
A couple of days later, I received this gorgeous gift pack from Jess, thanking me for choosing her business to make my website dreams come true. This was completely unexpected and such a grateful gesture, which set the high standard for the work and communication throughout the project. On that same day, I had new house cleaners starting. I have had a difficult time finding someone that actually knows how to clean properly, believe it or not. So on this day, I was keen to see whether my most recent attempt was going to be a success. The new cleaners, Andrea and Jody, worked really hard to catch up on the neglect of the previous months to leave the house spotless. I was even more excited when I found that they had cleaned my pantry and changed my sheets. But the thing that made me most excited was the fragrant toilet disc on the inside of the toilet bowls. My husband came running out of his office when he heard me scream with excitement. Neither Jess, Andrea or Jody had to go the extra mile with these add-ons. All were totally unexpected however gratefully and excitedly received. These experiences were not just about receiving excellent service. They were reminders of the joy and appreciation that come from people putting in extra effort to make a client's day. What can you do in your business to enhance your customer's experience? Well, that is a positive way to wrap up this video and I think I've talked this one through. Thank you so much for joining me. Clearly, you are truly dedicated to learning more about ISO standards. I love having you learn with me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Order to Training Online is your one-stop shop for professional training. If you're interested in mastering even more of this standard, head over to our website and enroll in one of our courses. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Atoll TV and drop a comment or question below. Your career transformation starts with a single click, so join me in making the world a better place. Mm -hmm.